5th of July 2018 T7 hours 31 minutes and 11 seconds, 960. Welcome to the Independence Politics Live blog, where we will be bringing you the latest updates from Westminster throughout the day. The 5th of July 2018 T7 hours 51 minutes and 22 seconds. Point zero 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 Z car giant Jaguar Land Rover has warned it urgently needs greater certainty on Brexit to continue to invest heavily in the UK and safeguard suppliers, customers and 40,000 British-based jobs. The warning from the country's biggest car maker follows similar statements from BMW and Airbus and comes ahead of a crucial meeting of the cabinet in Friday to finalise a white paper on Brexit. More here, the 5th of July 2018 T8 hours 10 minutes and 14 seconds. Point zero 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 Z Tory former minister and Eurosceptic Owen Patterson has offered a bullish defence in the wake of JLR's warnings. He told the Today programme, What is really vital is they will be better off if the government delivers on what the Prime Minister promised me in the Commons yesterday, if we do leave the customs union, JLR will have access to cheaper parts and components all around the world and European suppliers will be forced to compete or they will lose JLR's business. All the studies show that the car trade is very robust at the moment, it's very profitable and that will continue. The 5th of July 2018 T8 hours 15 minutes and 14 seconds. Point zero 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 Z Len McCluskey, General Secretary of Unite, said, Tens of thousands of decent jobs, the sort we will need more than ever out with the EU, are being put at risk by a government that places its survival, indulging narrow, extremist views, above the well-being of the people of this country. This is simply not acceptable, so I say this to the Tory party, our jobs are not yours to play Russian roulette with. Drop your red lines and secure a decent deal, one that is to the benefit of the working people of this country, and if you cannot agree to put people before your ideology then move over and let a party that will get on with it. The 5th of July 2018 T8 hours 22 minutes and 37 seconds, 190 Z One of the major stories of the day is the Amesbury Novichuk poisoning. Sajid Javid, the Home Secretary is charring his first Cobra meeting this morning to look at how a Wiltshire couple was poisoned by a military-grade nerve agent. We are also running a live blog on that, so you can follow developments here. The 5th of July 2018 T8 hours 39 minutes and 5 seconds, 180 Z. The Commons is starting with transport questions this morning, followed by a brace of statements and UQs. The 5th of July 2018 T8 hours 49 minutes and 11 seconds, 370 Z. Theresa May is flying to Berlin in a last gasp bid to win Angela Merkel's support for her new, third way, plan for customs rules after Brexit, amid EU fears that it will be a smuggler's paradise. The details of what Number 10 is calling the Facilitated Customs Arrangement FCA were finally revealed, ahead of the Prime Minister jetting out for talks with the German Chancellor. The proposal, which combines Ms May's original plan for the UK to collect EU tariffs with smart technology to smooth the process, is certain to face Brexiteer criticism that the UK would remain under Brussels' wing. Story here, the 5th of July 2018 T9 hours 7 minutes and 58 seconds, 213 Z There could be fireworks in the Commons later, as Labour has secured a UQ on claims as their McVeigh misled Parliament over universal credit. Here's our story from yesterday for background, the 5th of July 2018 T9 hours 17 minutes and 25 seconds, 193Z Transport Minister Joe Johnson says nationalization would be no panacea for the challenges on the railways and blames publicly owned parts of the railway, such as Network Rail. He was responding to criticism from Shadow Transport Secretary Andy McDonald, who said he had to step in and get a grip before our great railway hits the buffers. The 5th of July 2018 T9 hours 22 minutes and 28 seconds, 653 ZMPs responded furiously when Transport Minister Jesse Norman criticized Labour for making the NHSA party political issue. The 5th of July 2018 T9 hours 41 minutes and 25 seconds. 090 Z David Davis has reportedly written to the Prime Minister over his fears on her third way customs plan, which will be discussed by the Cabinet on Friday. In an 11th-hour letter, the Brexit secretary expressed his concerns that the EU would reject the idea outright as it is a fudge of her customs partnership plan with added technology, the Telegraph said. The 5th of July 2018 T9 hours 43 minutes and 17 seconds, 153Z Transport Secretary Chris Grayling has sought to dismiss fears of a bias against northern regions over rail spending. The cabinet minister labelled the description of the government's commitment to projects in the north as a total misnomer, before arguing that spending will be higher per head of population than in the south. Ministers have been accused of reneging on commitments after failing to confirm plans to fully electrify the Manchester-to-Leeds route. 
Timetable chaos has also caused major disruption for Northern Rail passengers. The 5th of July 2018 T 9 hours 45 minutes and 1 second, 476 ZMPs have now moved on to the urgent question on Esther McVeigh's record on universal credit. Frank Field, the veteran Labour MP asking the urgent question, asks the Work and Pensions Secretary to apologize for the three occasions on which she dissembled on the issue to MPs. Speaker John Bracow calls him out but doesn't ask him to retract his comments. It is usually considered unparliamentary to accuse a fellow MP of lying. The 5th of July 2018 T 9 hours 50 minutes and 14 seconds, 383 Z. McVeigh says there have been changes to the way universal credit is delivered, such as waiting days being abolished and changes to housing benefits. The impact of those changes is still being felt, so these changes could not be taken into account, she said. She say she and the National Audit Office, now, have come to, very different conclusions on the results. The facts are known but people can come to different conclusions. McVeigh fully accepts that she got bits of it wrong and apologized yesterday. The 5th of July 2018 T 9 hours 52 minutes and 28 seconds, 546 Z. Frankfield says her apology for one element was welcome but the now has criticized her for saying their report was out of date and showed that UC was working. Ms. McVeigh stands by her decision and says she came to the house of her own accord to apologize. She says other people aren't so happy to come forward and apologize, and what was surprising is she came of her own volition. The 5th of July 2018 T 9 hours 56 minutes and 36 seconds, 343 Z Labor's Margaret Greenwood said she should be ashamed for being forced to come to the house again after the now took the extraordinary step of speaking out about this. She says the report was damning on universal credit but instead of addressing it, Ms. McVeigh misled MPs on it. Greenwood demands her resignation, saying if she misread the report so badly then she is not fit to do her job. If she lied, then she has broken the ministerial code. McVeigh repeats her comments on her apology. The 5th of July 2018 T 10 hours 3 minutes and 33 seconds, 410 ZSNP's Alison Thulis says the now report blows a hole as wide as the Clyde in the government's UC policy and the suggestion Ms. McVeigh tried to hide this was a shameful state of affairs. The 5th of July 2018 T 10 hours 6 minutes and 55 seconds, 993 Z. Meg Hillier, chair of the Public Accounts Committee, says she is staggered and disappointed that McVeigh is still arguing about the detail of the report. This is a constitutional issue, as the now is the government's independent watchdog, and this is, is an unprecedented moment, she said. Ms. Hillier asks McVeigh to say she has full confidence in the now and the controller. McVeigh fails to say she has full confidence in the watchdog but says she will meet them next week. The 5th of July 2018 T 10 hours 9 minutes and 35 seconds, 226 C. Labor's David Hansen asks her to apologize to the now and to him, as he asked her about it in the Commons twice. Ms. McVeigh says his persistence first pushed her to check her words again, but stopped short of apologizing again.